Very early in the Xbox One and PS4 generation, Deep Silver and Warner Brothers went head to rotting head with the first person zombie game. Dead Island 2 and the all new Dying Light. Dying Light came out in 2015 and won over critics, but Dead Island 2 never reanimated. Now four years later and the generation is about to end, and Dead Island 2 is coming back from the dead. But is it too late? This is Colt Eastwood. Thanks for checking out the channel. I've covered this topic, Dead Island 2, before, and it's because, like few others, I enjoyed the campy ridiculousness of a Borderlands meets Fallout zombie game. If you like this kind of content, make it known and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. This will be a short video, so let's get right into what happened to Dead Island 2. Jaeger Studios, the team behind Spec Ops The Line, was hired to create a sequel to Techland's Dead Island game from 2011. And it was ushered in with a brilliant, light-hearted cinematic trailer that set tone for a sunny Californian outbreak, but we've been fooled before with the melodramatic trailer for the first game. The original creators of Dying Light, Techland, were busy resetting their game to a more serious and brand new polished title, Dying Light, which mixed Dead Island 1 with Mirror's Edge parkour system. In short, the game was brilliant, underrated, and well conceived. In 2014, Gamescom showcased Dead Island 2, a sequel, pastel pasted gameplay demo with stilted animations, grating dialogue, and an overall low level visual quality throughout. It was just a gameplay reveal, the game worked, and behind the scenes, players enjoyed it. But the reception from viewers halted the release of 2015 and caused Jaeger Studios to be removed from the project and Sumo Digital to take over revamping the game. If you know the name Sumo Digital, you know that their most recent works are Sonic All-Star Transform Racing, Little Big Planet 3, and the critically panned Crackdown 3. Most of all the work from Jaeger Studios was scrapped and Sumo Digital started rework from the ground up. A year of development time from Sumo Digital was poured into Dead Island 2, only to be handed off to THQ Nordic, the publisher of the Darksiders series, under a subsidiary studio, Dambusters. The studio behind Homefront The Revolution. What a mess. But the new rumors from talks with Dambusters reveal that not only is Dead Island 2 alive, but being improved with new tech and a new life on the next generation PS5 and Xbox Scarlet. The leak claims that Dead Island 2 is looking to target a 2020 release to launch alongside the PS5 and the new Xbox. Also, the team is apparently working on some new gore technology that utilizes sub-polygon displacement. This is likely a particle tessellation modeling animation for blood splatter that is physics-based running on PS5 dev kits that is confirmed by the THQ Nordic team. Dead Island 2 has been completely MIA since 2015, but the leak from Dambusters claim that we'll see this newly imagined Dead Island for next generation at E3 2020. This puts Dead Island 2's release window roughly one year after the promising Dying Light 2, which is closing out the current generation. Dying Light 2 will have co-op, but Dead Island 2 is supposed to have a shared world multi-co-op where you can run into others online and help them complete quests, thin out hordes, or just keep to yourself if you'd like. Dead Island 2 will be a more colorful, light-hearted, B-movie take on the zombie genre, most like Dead Rising in first person with RPG elements. And if all of these ingredients sound appetizing to you, the long wait of some six years may be worth it. Let's just hope the Dead Island 2 lives up to that promise. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a big fan of Dead Island and you'd be surprised how many people are actually excited to see a new Dead Island 2. It's a cheesy and a gory game outshined by a myriad of other zombie games, but I'd have to give credit to Deep Silver for not being complacent and allowing this game to come out broken, incomplete, or low quality. I think it speaks volumes to the voices of the gaming community for asking for more and for better. If you like this video or you learned something, give a like and subscribe to the channel. Join if you've been here a while and want to support the channel. Joining makes it possible to bring the best quality content I can with better hardware and better production. Or maybe you just like some cool gaming apparel, check out my merch shop located in the description and order something cozy or expressive. 
I design all this stuff myself, so of course I have to recommend it. If you'd like to talk to me on Xbox Live or Twitter, add me at Colt Eastwood and send me a question or just say hello. I hope we hear more about Dead Island soon, and if they are really ready to show this at E3, expect them to start sharing info very soon. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying the busy late year games. I'll see you in the comment section. Be respectful there. Let me know what you think of Dead Island and the new sequel. And as always, be nice.